Hey guys, I'm Fat Buddy Cat, and this is my custom vintage mini bike. This is going to be my first attempt at building a swing arm. We're going to start with the foundation, which is going to be the stock swing arm. We'll just clear everything else off the table for now. I went ahead and got a 3 inch slab of 3 16th steel. Believe it or not, I don't have one of these flipped over just so they're facing the same direction. What I'm trying to look at is this face here and here. This is going to be the outside. This is the back side. So the face of this is roughly the face of this minus a little something on the edge where they put the bends. So in modifying the stock swing arm to make it stronger, we're going to need to add support in this area it's going to be a whole lot easier to trace this than it is to trace this or so I hope let me see what I come up with okay so you'll see a series of marks there's one here one here there there right here 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 and there all right we can trace this just for a reference and might as well trace that one now it's time to connect the dots you see that there's a method to everything I just went ahead and extended these all the way out to the edge of the piece of cardboard that I had. Hopefully it's going to be long enough. Oh yeah, we got all of that thing. Now, we'll line things up and make a comparison. Bet you never thought you'd see somebody use a meat stick to find the center of their axle. I just went ahead and traced where the end of the stock swing arm is going to be. I also marked the end down here and I made a few different marks over here. These are one inch extensions. These ones are extended off of the center. These ones are the actual back right here where the mouth is. I think we're gonna use these marks up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a straight line and cut the end of the cardboard off. Get that right out of the picture. These marks out here were the original marks that we used to lay out the stock swing arm. So it's kind of like where the real meat and potatoes falls off. I'm going to cut this tab and this tab right out of there. And see how nice it is? They have a good strong foundation. Alright, the idea is that this is going to have to fit inside of here. So... We have to trim it up a little bit. Okay. 
here we are with our nice tight insert this fork area right back here is just the end of the swing arm and this would be the new section if you didn't pay attention to that this is all cyborg meat all right um one of these sides i believe it's this one is for the suspension and we're going to want to beef that up but we could tie this in at the same time i got an idea i'm going to try to trace another spline out out of those sections and then we'll overlay them all right this is right side up this is where the shock mount is going to be and this is a three inch extension this will be three sixteenths steel this is going to be one eighth it's going to be really close but i think they should overlay perfectly when i use those two thicknesses well, obviously the cardboard is you know just a template the next thing i'm going to have to do is turn this into cyborg meat and just like that we'll be adding these to the box and throwing that to the great unknown because if i run the swing arm on the inside like it was designed to be i'm not going to have the width that i need in between to line up my sprocket oh boy now i need to figure out a way to make a new swing arm that is going to be plenty structural and still remain tight to the outside of our mount i now not only have my slab of 3 16 but also a piece of one and a half by one inch square tubing i'm going to have to figure out the length from the center of the pivot to the center of the axle here's where the suspension mount is going to be i think i'm just going to take my tape measure hold it out get a rough idea and cut two pieces before i even attempt to explain this next part i'm just going to go and cut off two one foot sections of my tubing now i think i need two six inch pieces of my three inch stock so two six inch sections wait make that four i now have most of my pieces marked out this one i'm going to have to cut out and then lay out on the other three it's going to be the exact same these ones have a few different cuts because i'm going to need to make some tabs let me get this cut up really show you what i'm talking about all right if i cut them this way i won't have to cut those so save time add cyborg meat i have my part roughed out i think i'm going to grab a dremel and see if i can't clean these up a little bit hey check out my new cnc machine i'm going to be using my dremel and that bit right there and let's see what happens 
The top one is actually the clean one. Now, I put this one above another one that needs to be machined and kind of go at it like a router. Just in case you haven't figured that out yet. So, these are going to be getting welded on the ends. All right, I know that I have a little bit of space. I wanted to make sure that this thing went in and I didn't have to mess with it. All right, I can tack weld on one side and I'm using 7018. This is 316. This stuff is no joke. All right, I can handle that. Now I gotta vacuum this up. Boy. Uh, Should have planned ahead for that one. Alright. This next part is gonna have a little bit of a Lynx Garage moment. He taught me about this trick. Um what I'm gonna be doing is offsetting my tabs. Okay? These tabs are going to be against that face that's on the wood, all right? Obviously, these are going to be standing up this way, all right? So, this one will be on the inside. Right up against here, okay? And then the swing arm is going to hang to the outside once it's past the back side of my plate. So, we'll have a pivot for our hinge somewhere around there. Over on this side, I'm going to hold it up this way. Alright? Reason being, because then I can maximize my axle width. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to set that up yet, but I know that I'll have plenty of room. Now here's the cool part that Link taught me. What I'm going to do is drill two holes in this side, okay, in this piece of metal here. And they don't have to be huge, alright, but just something because that way when I'm welding this on I can get two really nice big tacks in there all right to pull the two faces together and then I can weld around everything else same thing on the other side except I'll drill the holes over here pretty cool huh With my holes drilled, I'm going to have to send this over to the finish shop. Which is just me and Big Herc out in the other shed. Because it's like 40 degrees tonight. Awesome. Hopefully tomorrow, I'll get these welded up. And then, we'll not only reshape our tabs on the end, but... We'll lay them out for their general purpose. Once I have the new swing arm installed on the frame, we can figure out the rest of the rear suspension, including finding where to mount the shocks and adding a cross member. I don't have a whole lot to go on, but I think we can figure this out. Because as always, it's a work in progress. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night, and I'll catch you on the next one.